It sounds like something out of a science fiction novel, but tech companies are competing over developing quantum computers. Google is one of those companies, and as the New York Times reports, Google recently said its machine can run software 13,000 times as fast as a traditional supercomputer. That means it can solve formulas in minutes that would take other computers trillions of years. Joining us now is the author of that article, New York Times technology reporter Cade Metz. Thanks for being here. What are the practical uses of computers like these? Well, today there, there aren't practical uses. This is still in the future. Um, this is still technology that's going to come to the fore maybe five, ten years out. But when this technology reaches its promise. Um, it will help with things like drug discovery, so identifying uh, new medicines and new vaccines. It might accelerate the progress of artificial intelligence even further. Um, it can help scientists build new materials for building all sorts of things, um, whether it's cars or consumer products. Uh, it's a way of specifically understanding um, the way that science works, in a sense, physics and chemistry, um, and building all sorts of new things that can be used uh, across our society. Artificial intelligence uses up a lot of energy, and a Bank of America analysis found AI is causing utility bills to increase. Could quantum computing help with that or make things worse? In, in the short term, it's not going to help with that, and it won't necessarily make things worse. Um, quantum computing is, is good at very specific things, and it will help um, those specific things that I discussed earlier, and it can, in, in helping uh, to accelerate drug discovery and accelerate uh, the discovery of new materials, it is going to use uh, less electricity, less power um, than today's AI systems, but it's doing a different thing than today's AI systems. You write that China has invested more than $15 billion in research. Is it more of a player right now than the U.S.? It is, it is very much a race akin to the AI race. This is something that China has taken seriously for years. It has a lot of talent in the area, and a lot of the important research um, that is uh, that is coming out of the field is coming out of China. Uh, American researchers will tell you that. Um, again, this is a race that won't reach the finish line for another five to ten years, uh, but China is certainly in the mix. Hmm. Kate Metz, thank you so much.